Week three, road to recovery. This is the first official week on the road to recovery now because we've had our operation. So I'm stoked to be here. Um, we've mixed things up a little bit this week. Uh, this is usually session three of the week, but due to um, the previous two weeks kind of being shorter weeks um, due to you know uh, surgery and whatnot, we're gonna start off with session three this week just to mix things up a little. It's very glute focused this one. Yes, we're doing some gym bro stuff or more, more gym bro stuff, but um, it's gonna be super good to sort of isolate the glutes a little bit better, um, get some strength in the trunks and um, yeah, I mean, mix it up a little bit because um, yeah, we don't wanna get too repetitive, but at the same time too, we wanna make sure that we've got that sort of like that consistency there. So um, yeah, heading into some hip thrusts, um, sort of more hypertrophy training this week. Um, and with some heavy stuff and some lighter stuff um, throughout. So yeah, kind of excited to see how that goes and um, yeah, let's get after it. And I, I, I asked myself the question is, uh, was I cognitively there, the things that I'm looking at? And should I have had someone, should I hire somebody to watch? And he's got a huge points gap because of it. And he dropped like a spring or anything, kind of like with water coming out of the hill in that zone. <laughs> Hello. No, mate. <laughs> mate, look at. Oh, a good catch. Come on, who doesn't stuff that catch up? Oi, I'm gonna need to do my training, you this. Crazy little animal. No, no, we're not playing fetch with that. Go get your ball. Go get your ball. Where's your ball? Nuh uh. Where's your ball? Off you go. Thank you. going on we have a pretty positive update we're in a splint we are out of the cast finally I mean well not finally it is six days post-op so I got this this morning um, so yeah five and a half days post-op um, pretty early to be in a splint and they did say that um, but they pushed my um, appointment forward to get going uh, the scar looks like it's healing pretty well swelling still there discoloration still there still pretty tender but all in all pretty good i've already got some pretty good mobility in my thumb which is awesome um the strength is also coming back it's just like super super stiff uh which they said it'd be like that for quite some time so yeah we're in a splint um 
probably another week away before we can get it wet due to the scarring, but man, I am so happy. I can actually start and do things with my hands now, kind of get back to normal. So yeah, we out here. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Uh, we got another leg session today. We got a strength session. You have seen this one before, but um, yeah, we're getting after it. We are week three out of four ish, give or take, a few short weeks in there. But um, yeah, no, feeling good, feeling strong, and feeling ready, ready to get after it. Another good session in the books. Went up in weight in a couple of things there. Um, feeling really good. Um, hamstrings are definitely in a fair bit of pain now and we're gonna feel it in the next few days, but um, all in all pretty good. So for those of you that are on the fence about like online programming and an app and tracking your progress and stuff like that, this is like one small benefit that like I kind of appre I appreciate as an athlete. Um, it's just measurable metrics. It's it's a way forward. It, it shows you progression, and I think that that's important as athletes because we like unless we're standing on like the podium or achieving our goals like at races, it's like super slim. So, and then even if you're not racing, like where is your like measurable results? So, the Super Dust app allows you to track everything. Every single like set is is sort of tracked and put in and is measured against, and you can actually see it live when you're doing the workout. Um, super, super upfront and easy. So here is an example of like finishing a workout. Now, let's hope this is in. Hope this is in focus. All right. So if you can see this, it is you know achieve six new records up in weight on the max weight we did an increase of 10 kilos to 140 today which is awesome now it does estimate your one rep max i am really not sure if that's actually going to be the case i really couldn't tell you but hey look if that's the case i'll i'll take it um, especially with the safety squat bar um, and also in the lunge too we increased by another 10 kilo today so um you know just little just little wins here and there i guess um i really like it it's a good way of tracking it and um it also makes me like the thing that i use the most is being able to look on like the previous weeks so we do our workouts in four week rotations basically so you'll go from like a strength cycle to a hypertrophic cycle to a contrast um and sort of like almost like cycle through those um depending on what point you are at with the season depending on what point you're at with the fitness journey as well so um it just allows me to go back and see like oh cool like i've lifted this weight before all right i'm feeling good like let's try and one up it so it's like it's sort of like that ghost there almost like pushing you a little bit more which um i super appreciate especially like training 
especially training on my own like it does it does get pretty isolated in here um my wife often trains with me but we're not sort of doing the same stuff so i'm on my own i'm pushing i have to push myself and then the app's just like a tool there for me to just go like right cool sweet it's there it's ready to go so um yeah super handy tool for me but um yeah all in all good session today um, we've got a big air bike session um, tomorrow morning and then um, yeah, another weight session and air bike session to round out Friday and a huge one on Saturday. So again, doing what we can in the gym, can't touch a bike for at least another few weeks yet. Um, but all in all, really good. Super stoked to have this on now. Pretty big milestone in the, in the recovery uh, stages. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Good morning guys. We are just about to hit number session number three, uh, strength for the week. Um, you have seen this one before. It is the one with the back squats and Bulgarian lunges. All the hurdy boys in this one, um, but it's all good. Keen to rip in and get it done. Um, update on the hand. Starting to look and feel like a real hand again. Yes, I'm supposed to be wearing a splint and yes the cast did come off way early but i did get told by the um, hand therapist to use it pretty much as much as possible and i asked what the point in stopping was and she said if it starts feeling like a stabbing pain back off so we haven't gotten to that point yet i'm doing my regular hand exercises with like a lot of finger touching and stuff and it's getting better every day today's the day that i can actually touch my pinky just which it started off by struggling to get to this one. So um, yeah, it's going well. We're about a eight or nine days post-op now. Um, so yeah, no, good progress. Um, I can grip a bar again. It just really hurts because it's still severely inflamed. Like I do have a really fat sort of thumb and like the sort of, it's just real tender still, but um, yeah, all in all good news. So progress is tracking really nicely. I'm a hard to do the